Well, hello again. It's me, James Mantle, bringing you yet another video. In this video, I wanted to recap my experience filming Trixie Mattel's Trixie Motel finale. Yes! <laughs> I snuck in a camera phone and I decided I was going to vlog my experience. Well, honestly, Ernie snuck in a camera phone and decided to vlog his experience, but I'm taking his footage and claiming it as my own because I own 20% of it. So now it is mine. <laughs> so we're going to go through our little clips here and share the experience of the Trixie Motel finale experience. The grand opening. Oh my God. I got the pink carpet treatment as I was one of the stars of the very last episode. Yes. But while I was there, I was working as a hairstylist for Trixie Mattel. I was there doing upkeep on a lot of her wigs, as well as I styled a few that appeared in the promo pictures and in some episodes. I am here amongst the stars. So many names are here from Manila Luzon, Alaska Thunderboop, Rob the Drag Queen, the beautiful and iconic Juno Birch. Pause. Names, names, names. Brooklyn Heights, Monet Exchange, Fina Barbatal. Where are we, Jane? We are at the Trixie Motel um, opening party. And we're getting drunk. Bling, 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 bling. I mean, we're drinking. Sure. Names, names, names. Oh, give me a moment to pick up all these names. Oh, I'll be here for ages. One sec. Oh, God, all these names. I'm so glamorous. I can't help it. This is for YouTube, James. We're on TV right now. Television. Television. I decided to take over Ernie's vlog and give you all a little miniature tour of the rooms, or at least the ones I was allowed to film without them noticing. First up was the pink flamingo room all decked out in flamingos, very John Waters, very Golden Girls. It's probably the most mature room in the whole building, but mature in the best possible means. You'll be sitting in there feeling like Dorothy Zvornak, all right? It's like being out on the lanai, only you don't have to be outside with mosquitoes. It's Palm Springs. I don't think mosquitoes can survive out there. Can mosquitoes survive in Palm Springs? Somebody Google that for me. <laughs> Come back to it with the answer in the comment section. Mosquitoes. <laughs> It's the flamingo Trixie. I can see that. Ew. <laughs> On the walls, there are paintings done by Teresa May. Yes, from Drag Race UK. This is the Queen of Hearts room. I get it. It's gorgeous. It's like totally hair Barbie threw up in here. It's fabulous. The Trixie is right as a trading card done by Teresa May from Drag Race UK. UK. She was, UK, but yeah, she's from Espana. Yeah. She's from Espana, but she was on UK. She made it. That's all that matters. She made what? She made the paintings. All the paintings are hers. Wow. And the heart shaped mirror on the ceiling. See, so I can see how you're doing. <laughs> we moving on? Yeah, we're moving on. This is the Atomic Bomb Showroom. I'm not going to lie, it's one of my favorite rooms. 60s Atomic themed. A little bit of a Juno Birch vibe, especially with the tricks of painting. I'm surprised Juno's not suing her. And it's gorgeous. Everything is blue. Everything is very flattering to the face. Oh, love it. And the men in black chairs. Gorgeous. Off camera crew. So I have to whisper because I'm filming right outside, but this is the flower power room. It is 60s hippy dippy on steroids. Like anything you think like mod Barbie, it's right here in this room. With the flower petal bed, gorgeous. Okay, let's move on. This is the Malibu Barbara room. Look at her. Obviously inspired by Trixie and Barbie. Nice 1960s party kind of vibe. Like a night with a cello or see if we dance and stay queer. So gorgeous. Oh my god. Oh, Gidget, eat your fucking heart out. Oh, keep the custom life preservers. Now, I don't know if they work. I'm sure they probably do, but I think they're just for shit. But they're so pretty. So if you die and it doesn't save your life, at least you know you clog onto something fabulous. <laughs> 
and not to be outdone by rooms, I also was a room model. That's right, Jane's Mansfield was a window model for the Yeehaw Cowgirl Room. It seemed fitting considering I just happened to have that outfit with me and mention it to production. If they needed another model, well, I was available. I very subtly hinted this, okay? Like, I left notes on their doors, I put post-it notes on all their folders, and you know, even on some of the camera lenses. So they had no choice but to see James Mansell's available for the Yeehaw Calgary room. She has an outfit, so make sure she's there for it. James, say hi to the YouTube fan. Oh my God, we're in the Yeehaw Cowgirl room right now. And I'm going to be modeling this room like a mannequin of India. Yes. And actually, I am trying to get drinks because we're, we're in a famine right now, so I need alcohol in order to do this. I gotta be on my feet for a long time. But this is all the beautiful stuff that I said I picked out, but I, if anyone asks, I decorated this room. Yes. And um, that's the back door. I haven't broken the window out yet, but I plan to. I plan to. There's gonna be a big heist happening at the Trixie Motel that only we know about, okay? So just keep that between us. Don't let Trixie or David know. Wow, look at that bed. Yeah, look at that wall. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, and I'm dressed for the occasion. Oh. Look at us. I'm oh, the find, find the lighting right here. I'm the on brand at the Trixie Motel, we on Cowgirl. Yes. Got it. All right, we just filmed the room reveal starring me in the Yeehaw Cowgirl room. Oh my gosh, I did a reveal in the reveal, okay? Doing the most here at Trixie Motel. I am on cloud nine. I'm excited to see how this motel goes. Hopefully it's not a day in two weeks. Hopefully it's successful, all right? Let's go party. It was such a glamorous party and there were so many rooms. Probably my favorite room was the Oh Honeymoon Suite. Yes! Imagine how many wonderful nights are going to be had in this room and how many future divorces are going to be planted here in this room. I cannot wait. All right, this is the Honeymoon Suite. Now take a look at her. Coitus Maximus will happen here. This is where the magic happens, yes. Gorgeous, just imagine your honeymoon. The O Honeymoon Suite. Probably my favorite room would have to be the lobby, the little waiting area. Oh, well, this is the lobby. It's very like Meryl Streep's house in She Devil. It's giving that kind of vibe. Lots of pink, kept to bismol to the freeway. Fabulous, look at the palm tree. Look at the top band members. So what other butts? <laughs> They're not, they can't hear me. Anyways, yep, yeah, heart shaped couches, custom pillows, nothing but luxury in the Trixie Motel. I can't wait to stay here for free. Now, I regret that I was not able to get footage of me inside the check in area because it's decked out in all the dolls that I hand picked from the episode of Trixie Motel I appeared on. <laughs> That's right, I also got roped into doing work and helping out Trixie Motel because. Honestly, whenever Trixie Mattel calls you, she wants help with something. She's always going to want something. It's never just, I'm here to talk or how is your day? It's always, what can you do for me, you know? But that's okay. That's our friendship and I've accepted that. And I know that's just her way of showing she cares. All right, they're doing a cast photo right now. It is a wrap. And we'll see Trixie Motel on Discovery Plus sometime in the summer, I believe June. Oh my God, here we are with my customized car. Yes, this is my ride home. I'm just gonna get into it right now. Look at that, I forgot the keys. <laughs> oh. <sighs> all in all, I loved my time in Palm Springs. I was there for months on end and I made many new friends while I was there as well as got to know other YouTubers that lived in the area. I would have never met Nick DeRemio and stole so many things from his apartment 
had I not been booked this Palm Springs gig. So thank you, Trixie, for that. I made a great new friend in this bra. Shut up. I thought I put that on silent. All right, this has been the Trixie Motel. And of course, it wouldn't be a motel without a pool. And it's the almost heart-shaped pool. Kind of looks like the boomerang logo from Cartoon Network back in the days. Look at that, so gorgeous. And there's also custom pink tiles on the side to let you know how deep it is. The little pink hearts are so cute. And the sign's not lit up yet, but it's right up there. Yes, Trixie Motel. I'm so proud of my friend. And honestly, I hope this is, success, this is a successful venture for her because I'm going to need a place to stay if things don't work out. I know I'll always have a room with her. At least that's what I'm going to tell her. So I had to say a big thank you to Trixie Motel, David, and everyone involved with Trixie Motel, the Property Brothers. Oh my goodness. I got to meet so many famous and glamorous people all by trailing around Trixie Motel and pretending to do her hair. It was like a long con that I couldn't believe I pulled off. I would literally like... It's like a lesson in gaslighting somebody, okay? It's just like, the way you do Trixie Mattel's hair is like, you know, Trixie, I love the way you look in ponytails. Just I mentioned that randomly. And then a few days later, she'd be like, I think I want to wear a ponytail today. I'm like, yeah, you do. You look so good in them. That's how you do her hair. <laughs> oh, I enjoyed this experience immensely. And I hope you guys did too. And this little bite-sized bit I gave you of the Trixie Motel finale premiere grand opening. What is this thing called? My gosh. And before we go, I have to take a moment, a Venmo moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Dev, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Oh my God. Steven, Chris, Billy, Sarah, and Kat, and Sergio. Thank you all so much for the tips on Venmo. I truly appreciate it. Oh my gosh. And sorry I was gone for so long. I would give you a reasoning, but I don't think you deserve it. I also have YouTube heart ons from Carl, Shaners, Tumaz, and Carl again. <laughs> Thank you all so much for the YouTube heart ons. I love a good heart on. <laughs> I thought I was so clever for that one. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm terrible. And in case you don't know what that is, YouTube just added this fabulous new heart button where you could tip me if you feel so inclined. No pressure, no pressure, but it's there if you want to. If you get a heart on for me, well, show it off. Let me see it. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. They're going to see the green screen. It's not a green screen. <laughs> I exist inside this universe now. <laughs> Click here and watch me bake a cinnamon toast crunch cake. Or let me try out the good Da Young X Trixie Cosmetics Collection. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll disappear again. So click it. <laughs>